Well, hello everybody, it's BugEater64 here, and as you can see, uh, my last Windows update has messed up my camera for my <laughs> editing and so on. So, you're stuck at looking just an old picture of the old man himself. So this is BugEater64. Sad, I know, but it's true. And we're going to be flying the uh, Dash 8 from... Uh, Las Vegas, KLAS, to our home base at uh, in Lancaster, California, KWJF. So, we'll be getting ready to go here. Uh, we're going to take this Dash 8, take her home, and this is just going to be a ferry flight. And it uh, gives me a little more practice starting and uh, getting this bird up and going. So, We'll be doing that here just very, very shortly. And I uh, hope you enjoy the ride. So, we'll see you inside the cockpit here real quickly. So, let us be on our way. We will be uh, setting things up in Air Hauler 2 so we can get credit for the flight. And right now I've got in my fleet, I've got the uh, Dash 8, I've got three DC-3s, and one brand new 737-800. And i uh, been doing a couple test flights with that, and we'll see how that goes. I'm still having some issues with the uh, autopilot. I'm pretty sure it's the old guy that just hasn't used it in so long that he's forgotten how to do it. I may have to turn to Cajun Josh for some assistance or even some other people on how to get this thing up and running. So let's get into Air Hauler 2 here and uh, as you can see we're gonna set up our flight so we're gonna be going to uh, our home base at KWJF Not carrying any cargo. We've got plenty of fuel. So, yep. About 170 miles. And we've set up our weight for uh, our payload and our fuel. And we should be ready to go here. And here we are in the cockpit, getting ready to go here. So let's go ahead and get some power going. Power. Kilo, Lima, Alpha, Sierra, airport information. Tango, one, four, five, six, Zulu, weather, wind, zero, three, nine, at three, visibility, one, zero, sky condition, temperature, three, one, two point, minus four, altimeter, two, nine, nine, three, advise on initial contact, you have information, Tango. Okay. Well, we're going to hear that. Kilo, Lima, Ooh, Alpha, Sierra, time. airport information. Tango, one, four, five, six, Zulu, weather, wind, zero, three, nine, at three, visibility, one, zero, sky condition, temperature, three, one, two point, minus four, altimeter, two, nine, nine, three, Kilo, Lima, Alpha, Sierra, airport information. Tango, one, four, five, six, Zulu, weather, wind, zero, three, two, at three, visibility, one, zero, sky condition, temperature, three, one, two point, minus Okay, well, I think we heard enough about that. We'll get the flight plan set up here. KWJF. And we're just going to do a direct flight. And double check our ATIS here.
Karen INTL Information Tango 1600 Zulu Weather Wind light and variable, visibility more than 10 Sky conditions 25,000 scattered, 27,000 scattered Temperature 30, dew point minus 4 Altimeter 2993 Arriving runway 01 right, departing runway 01 left Advise on initial contact you have Tango Okay, so we got the information we need and we can prepare our lady to go. So we've got to go to there. Check, get our connection going. All right. McCarran INTL Information Foxtrot. 1700 Zulu weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than 10. Had some Sky problems there with the connection. And uh, it turned out it didn't like the fact that I had started X plane before I connected to Air Hauler 2, so we had to turn off X plane and restart it. <coughs> so that's where we're actually at a different location on the airport, but we are getting ready to go. TL information Foxtrot 1700 Zulu weather Wind and light get the visibility APU up and running sky conditions 25,000 scattered 27,000 scattered temperature 30 dew point minus 4 altimeter 2993 arriving run she has a pleasant voice but I think I've heard enough and I know which runway Still leaving on uh, zero one. So we'll get our set up here for altitude and barometric pressure and get our heading and course settings Climb right. So let's double check everything. We're going to start. Okay, let's 
those all turned off. We'll get the seat belt, no smoking sign is going. And we will start the right engine. Engine number two is first. And not having a smooth morning, I forgot to double check my HOTAS controls to get everything set properly. engine bill. There we go. Okay, come on, let's see here. That's the auto. Got the auto feather just in case. Looking good there. trying to reset the controls here. Let's get this down. Let's do this. Alright, engine number two. Let's introduce fuel. And there she goes. <coughs> Let's get the number one engine going. Passengers taken care of, although there aren't any, but you know. We got the crew that was here brought the aircraft here. Okay, we'll release the brake. Let's get going. APU's off. And go ahead and taxi and take off.
come up here. See how she goes. All right, stop here. Double check everything. Everything looks set there. Okay. Flaps are set. Let's get going. We're just going to do a, get on the runway and just do a rolling start and get going. Approaching zero one left. Let's get going. On runway zero one left. Gear up. All right, so we will head to our home base. I know, I turned off the autopilot. here and get on heading. Take our Fly J Sims Dash AQ four hundred back to KWJF.
All right, so now we're getting ready to make our approach. We're on the downwind leg for KWJF, and very shortly we're going to be making a left turn on base. Keep swinging around, get on to our final approach here. There we have the runway in front of us. Gear coming down. Approaching zero six flaps flaps uh, Apparently I didn't have the flaps down far enough for her liking so we'll just Take them down some more safely. Use the reversers to slow her down. up the bird, get the flaps up. Set of her ground operations, spoilers down. Turn off the runway or landing lights, get our taxi lights on, and get off the runway here. And so we're down safe. Not my greatest landing, but. Uh, Plenty good enough, didn't do any damage to the aircraft, and uh, relatively smooth, just a little bump. And that's why running cargo is so much better than passengers, you don't have to keep anybody happy but yourself. Well, I am a crew chief, he doesn't like it when you ding up his airplane. But we're just going to pull up to our Air America do a hangar, park in front of her, and then we can call it a day. This is the uh, Fly J Sims Dash AQ400 Legacy. Very nice airplane. Can't wait till Fly J Sims finishes the new 
an improved Dash 8. It's been working on it a long time. I think it's going to be a real fine aircraft, just like this one. But uh, nicely updated. Okay, and we're going to park it right here. Okay, very good. We can get back to air hauler to get credit for the flight. And that's important because it'll show in air hauler that the aircraft is back at KWJF. The interesting thing is I've got to the two-man crew that flew the bird to Las Vegas for me so I could be picked up because I can't travel from point A to point B without the aircraft. So now, but I can't bring the air crew back with me, so now I have to give them orders to travel back here to the base so they can pick up the aircraft. Just one of the little unique things with air hauler too. But it's nothing big. Okay, so here we are back at home. We can go ahead and end our flight tracking. As you can see, they told me the landing was okay. Which is fine. So, you can see where my aircraft are at real quickly there, and um, what we got going on. I've got other aircraft, I've got three aircraft flying missions right now. So, So with that, there you have it, our little short uh, ferry flight from Las Vegas, KLAS, back home to KWJF. Didn't make any money with this flight, but it gives me more practice with this particular aircraft. And uh, we'll get ready to for bigger and bolder things as we get into the 737-800. And looking forward to that. And for our artificial intelligent air crews to keep making me money and air for Air America do it. And with that, this is Bug Eater 64 and we'll see you next time. And until then, do as I say, not as I do. And remember, safe flying.